In this video, I'm gonna share with you five weird Etsy print-on-demand t-shirts that are selling anywhere from $100 per day up to over $200 per day. And I actually have one example, which is way more than that, but it's a little bit of an outlier. But let me just tell you, that one gave me a bunch of ideas on how I could apply this to my niche. Now, let me just be 100% upfront with you. I am not sharing these with you. So you run out and try to copy them and uh, try to get these sales. That's not what I do. That's not what I recommend you do. But what I would like you to do is start to draw inspiration from these, but also think outside the box and try to apply this to your niche. All right, so let's dive in. The very first example that I wanna share with you is this one right here. And that is the Boho Cow Skull shirt. Now, this here, it's in 20 carts right now, 20 plus carts, and it's a bestseller. Now, it's selling for $17.76. It's got a 15% off discount of $20.90, and there's different options here as well. As they get larger, they get a little bit more expensive. So let's take a look at the numbers. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, I use a tool called Everbee. I'll leave a link in the description because I know a lot of people, once I start showing this stuff, they wanna know what the tool is or what the plugin is, and it's called Everbee. I'll leave a link, like I said, in the description. And yes, I'm an affiliate for it because I use it every day, and I believe in it. And really anyone that's serious about selling on Etsy, this is a must tool in my opinion. All right. So let's look at the data that Everbee gives us. So all I'm going to do here is click on product analytics and I am going to look at the data. So the very first thing that I'm looking at here is total sales, 777 estimated monthly sales, 256, which is crazy. And the estimated revenue is $5,350. Now they are getting this revenue number from the regular price, not the 15% off. Now this could just be running for this week. It could be running for the last 30 days. We don't know. Let's go off at $17.76. So if we wanted an accurate number as far as revenue brought in, all we would do is take this number, $17.76, because that's the current price. And then we would multiply that by 256. And that would give us the total in monthly revenue. So with my handy dandy little calculator, 256 times $17.76 equals $4,546.56. That is what has been brought in from this t-shirt. So depending on how much you're paying for your shirts, this might make you maybe five bucks, who knows? But they're selling a lot of them. So is this worth it to sell one of these in your shop if you are a Western shop? Probably because it'll also bring other people into your shop that could buy more of your stuff. And that's really what I base a lot of my decisions on when I'm looking to launch something as a low ticket offer. And that would be a case here that I would probably do if this was the niche that I was going after. And the other thing I wanted to point out here real quick is the other thing that you can do if this is in your niche, if you're looking at t-shirts in your niche, you can also look here at all of the tags that they are using and you can probably get ideas for other types of shirts or other types of products. So I can analyze these and maybe get some ideas like bull skull shirt, country shirt, cowgirl tee, southern shirt, Western graphic tee. So maybe those are some things that I could then do a spinoff for because that's what they're using inside of their listing. All right, so moving on to the next best seller. And once again, I wanna remind you, the reason why you should be looking at t-shirts in your niche isn't necessarily to sell them yourself, but to also get ideas because these could be also applied to other types of products like sweatshirts or even pillows or blankets. If it makes sense, you could take something like this, put it on another item and probably even get more than this shirt is right now. All right, so the next one I'm gonna share with you is this one right here. And the reason why I found this is because I was looking for like coffee lovers. And this is what came up, staying alive. And then you have coffee and you show a skeleton like you're not alive until you have your coffee. That's at least what I got out of this shirt. Now, I don't know, this could be a trademark. So you'd wanna check and make sure that there's no trademark on this because anytime that there's either a movie or a famous saying, it could be trademarked, so you always wanna be careful there. But what I thought was interesting is this is what came up when I was looking into coffee lovers. So again, if I was in the coffee business, then I would probably wanna roll out some shirts that had to do with coffee. And sometimes funny shirts do really well. But check this out. 
$21.99 is what it's selling for. It was $43.98. They're doing 50% off, but let's look at the numbers real quick. So if we look at the numbers, this has been live for five months, all right? And let's see, it has made 582 sales. It did 116 last month in sales as far as that's how many. And then here, it sold $3,015. But once again, that's basing it off of the $43.98. So if we did the rough math, we would say $21.99 times 116. So what does that give us? So the accurate number would be $2,550.84. Not too bad, right? Again, how much are they paying for the shirts? That is going to vary depending on where you source your shirts from or if you're screen printing them yourselves. It could be a lot cheaper. But this is, again, a great product for the coffee niche if that was your brand and the niche that you were in. One little thing I wanna point out here too that you don't even need a tool for, but if you come to a shirt like this and you see 20 plus in the cart, that's a good sign. That means that this thing is getting some views and it's getting liked as far as people are putting it in their carts. Now, the other cool thing you can do if you're using Everbee is we can look right here at favorites. And the favorites are basically a vote in a sense where someone said, I like this, I wanna bookmark this thing so I can go back to it. And what that also does for us is it shows us that there's demand and people are finding it and liking it. And that's a really good thing. So once again, five months old, it's done 582 sales, 116 last month. I'd say that's a pretty good shirt. All right, moving on to my next one. And this one here is really crazy, mind blowing. Uh, I think you're gonna like this one. So here's a retro frog t-shirt or a MILF. And you can see where it says, man, I love frogs. So really interesting shirt. And uh, it's crazy because it's doing very well. But now once again, I wanna bring your attention to this. It's in 20 plus people's carts right now. So that's a really good sign. Let's run the numbers and let's see what this one's doing. So here we are, nine months old. We have 21,693 favorites. Remember what I said about favorites? This here is a great sign. It's only nine months old and it's got over 21,000 favorites. That is amazing. So total sales, 3,937. Last month, 434 for a total of $8,120 in estimated monthly revenue. Now, once again, they're basing that off of the $36.20. They're running a 30% off. So I just wanted to point something out here. I see this done quite a bit. I don't really like this strategy, but it is a strategy and people are using it. So if you want the price to show up lower, so $13.78, like they are here and regular price is $19.69. Well, if that's in white, if I want to now have it in a size, which I do, look what happens. The price just jumps up to $25.34. Now, obviously people are still buying it, so it's not hurting them, but that's not a strategy I necessarily think that I would wanna do, but I did wanna bring it to your attention. So if we look at this now and we take $25.34, that's for a white and a medium. Now, if I change the color here to dark gray heather, that comes up and it's the same price there. Now, if I go to a different size, it's all the same price. If I go to the XL or double XL, it's $27.11. So you can see that it's not really $13.34. So it's a little misleading, but it looks like it's doing pretty good. And the other thing I did notice is it looks like they're running a sale and it's going to end in five hours. My guess is they're going to run the sale till it ends and then they're gonna restart it again. And I do like that strategy because what that does is it continually adds a little bit of scarcity that the sale is ending for someone that is looking at it right now. So that's actually a good strategy. That's one that I definitely, definitely use. All right, so this next one is gonna blow your mind because it blew my mind and it gave me a bunch of ideas. It actually led me to another example that I'm gonna share with you, which is just crazy, but how you can apply this same concept to other niches. And that's exactly what I'm doing when I'm doing t-shirt research. In this case, I'm looking at designs, but I'm also looking at different ideas or spins that I could apply to my own niche. So let me show you. So this one here looks like it was rolled out around Christmas time. And it says 60 quotes, most likely, and custom Christmas shirt. So what this basically is, and this is kind of what I'm surmising, is 
you are now buying all of these different shirts for family members in a picture. And the reason why I know that is because I look down here and I can see that couples are buying them. We have a family, another family. And so what you're doing is, is you're kind of like saying what the person is. So like each shirt is customized per person, but you gotta buy each shirt. So it's actually brilliant because if you have five people in your family, you're gonna buy five shirts, all right? So just check this out. Most likely to drink all the wine. Most likely to drink all the whiskey. Most likely to drink all the vodka. So what I did is while I was doing this research to share with you some examples, I started having more ideas for my own niche because we can use this if we are in, let's say the gardening niche, most likely to be out in the garden, right? Like something like that or spend all day in the garden. So all it's doing is it's representing that particular person. So if you're a fisherman, most likely to be out on the lake all day, something like that, right? So we can put a spin on it to cater towards our niche. But check this out. This is when it gets really crazy. Let me run the numbers. So if we look at these numbers here, they're just mind blowing. Estimated monthly sales, and it says last month, 3,807, total of $54,326 in monthly revenue. Now, that's at $22.13 because that's what the regular price is. Check this out. It was favorited 3,134 times, and then we have it, four month old listing. All right. So pretty awesome. Total sales, 15,243. Now this is a seasonal item. Okay. But you're going to see in this next example on how it doesn't have to be seasonal and you can use it year round. Now I took that last concept most likely to, and I started to research other niches. Now this is in the bridal niche. This is for bachelorette party shirts. Amazing, right? We went from one thing and we brought it over to another niche and this is doing really well. Who wouldn't love these for a bachelorette party? I mean, these are pretty cool. So check this out. Once again, it's in 20 plus people's carts. That's a good sign. And let's go ahead and run the numbers. So the listing itself has been live for 11 months. It has 3,230 favorites. It's got 5,402 sales and last month was 482 sales, individual sales, and it's $7,707 in estimated revenue. It looks like that's based off of the $20 or 1999. So if we did the math on the 1499, it would be less obviously. Now the cool thing about this concept that I really love in both examples is you're probably going to buy more than one shirt. So even though your profit margin might be less, let's say it's five bucks a shirt, but someone's gonna buy five shirts or six shirts, then we're still going to be making 20, 25 or $30 per order, which I really, really like. So do you see how I took one idea and I was able to then bridge it over to another niche and then go into a completely different area? That's how you do it. That's how I think we should be using t-shirts as a way to see what's selling, what is getting people to buy in that niche, and that could be something that leads people into our shop. I'm not someone that thinks that we should build a t-shirt business at all. I think we need to build products that serve our niche and be able to allow them to buy more than just one item. Now there's one thing, one mistake actually, that Etsy sellers are not doing. Once they find out what is a hot seller, they're not leveraging that and they're not putting it on multiple products. Well, I wanna share with you in this video right here, a little case study that my wife and I did where we launched 30 products in 30 days by leveraging designs. So check that one out and I'll see you in the video.